Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor, and I just got back from watching Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and I thought I'd give you guys my little spoiler-free reaction to how I felt about the movie since I just got back. Um, I'm just going to speak off the cuff. I will post a actual review next week at some point, spoiler-free review, and I will do another like spoiler-filled discussion video next week. I want to see it a couple more times. Um, so yeah, I want to dig in and you know tell you guys about this movie. So first off, Go watch this thing. Oh man, I just fanboyed out so much throughout this film. Uh, Gareth Edwards, uh, he was known for doing Monsters, an independent film, I'm pretty sure, and then Godzilla in 2014. And this guy, he's going to be put on the map after this movie. Um, he always was going around on the press tour saying, hey, look, I'm a really big Star Wars fan. Well, you really are, because the dude was putting so many little cool references and everything throughout the movie. You could really tell that this guy was a fan. Um, and getting more to the movie, so basically... Every cast member really brought their A-game to this movie. Um, you know, in previous Star Wars films, I'm looking at you prequels. I love the prequels, but the acting kind of fell flat sometimes. Um, this definitely did not. I really enjoyed all the performances. Um, and if you guys are worried about, you know, seeing the trailers and, and you know, seeing too much in the trailers... Uh, yeah, don't let that bother you because we go to so many other planets and stuff in this movie that I didn't expect to see. There's some of you um, that read the legend stuff. Uh, you're going to get a kick out of some of the stuff in this uh, movie because I did not see it coming. Um, I want to talk about the visual effects. The visual effects guys were unbelievable. Um, when Star Wars was made in 1977, uh, it pioneered, you know, George Lucas with all this awesome camera work and everything else put into it. Um, they do that again here. I'm not going to spoil it, but there are moments in this film um, that are just incredible and they're going to pave the way for some new technology in the future. It's unbelievable. Uh, I can't believe, well, I mean, what I was watching, I was just, my jaw was on the ground. And just the fact that this leads right into A New Hope, uh, just so closely, it's incredible. Um, I will never watch A New Hope the same way again, I'll put it that way. Okay, so I'm going to segue into uh, the novel I reviewed a couple weeks back called Catalyst. If you guys read that book, you are going to get so much more out of the characters. I'm not saying that if you didn't read the book, you're not going to really understand what's going on, but I feel like I had so much more uh, emotional attachment. There was so much more weight to these characters and things going on because I read that book. Uh, I really, really, oh man, it was just so good. So good. Another thing I want to mention is about the whole war aspect of this movie and it is really different than anything we've ever seen in Star Wars. The war is just like something out of Saving Private Ryan. Um, you got Gareth Edwards who filmed a lot of this on his shoulder with the camera. So you got this really like personal kind of uh, effect to what's going on around you. It's it's a really visceral experience and you just feel like you're there with the soldiers. Uh, you know the sand flying, the dirt flying everywhere. You really feel the, the thud and the impact of the weapons. Uh, everything was handled with so much care. It was really really awesome and yeah remember there was these things going around with the reshoots don't worry about them they are really stupid because this movie for me oh man i i, I want to say it's one of the better star wars for sure i, I put it up there um i'm even battling myself with saying this might be better than the force awakens um there was really nothing, not that much in here that tied back to anything else. This was a very different Star Wars movie. Uh, very different than you've ever really seen before. Uh, this was very, very dark uh, for a Star Wars movie. They pull no punches um, with anything going on in here. There's really real life uh, kind of consequences of what's going on. Real life messages. Uh, the message I like the most is, you know, hope. There is this message, a strong message of hope in this film. It's saying, hey, look, you know, there is, you don't have to be a Jedi to make, you know, a change in the galaxy. It, it was really, really hard hitting for me. And, uh, you know, taking that home with me after watching the movie, it was really something else. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times um, in some Star Wars things, there's, there's battles for no reason, kind of stuff like that. Well, this definitely had reasoning behind everything I've seen in there. Every character that was in this movie, they had their own motivations, their own little character arcs. It was really something um, that was more of an ensemble movie like we haven't seen before. Um, yes, we get that Star Wars feel, you know, and I want to talk about the music. I really like the music from what I heard. Um, Michael Giacchino, 
took uh, the motifs kind of from, um, you know, John Williams, obviously, and, and really put them expertly throughout uh, the film to really capitalize on certain feelings and, that we all love, but this is in another kind of part of the galaxy. Okay, so that is basically all I want to say so far without getting too far into spoiler territory. So guys, like I said, make sure you check back next week on my channel. I will have a spoiler-free review as well as a spoiler discussion. If you aren't subscribed to me, please do so so you don't miss out on those videos. Guys, I also have a ton of Star Wars content I do weekly on this channel, so make sure you check that out. I'm Star Raptor, guys, and may the Force be with you always. So did you like the video then make sure you rate it a thumbs up and if you did that go over there hit that star after head so you subscribe to my channel. Doing so will keep you up to speed on all of my latest content. Speaking of which you can see a couple of my recent uploads down below. I'm also on social media so what are you waiting for? Let's start nerding out.